OpenAI just released Deep Research on ChatGPT, and it's the first time that an AI product surpasses human capabilities. But don't take my word for it. Some of the biggest people in the AI and tech industry have echoed similar sentiments. Venture capitalist Michael Magnano said that Deep Research is the first time that he's seen an AGI product. He straight up said that the discussion is over. Tech blogger Ben Thompson said that Deep Research is the first time that he's experienced AGI. He said that he got a personal researcher for a shockingly low price of $200. Patrick Collison, who is the CEO of Stripe had similar feelings. He said that he used it for six reports in one day and called it excellent. Warden professor Ethan Mollick also called it a PhD level researcher that follows your instructions. Clearly, deep research in ChatGPT is a huge deal. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use it. Everything from how to craft prompts from it to specific use cases that you can use it for. So first up, this is how you use deep research in ChatGPT. First thing, you'll wanna go to your settings and you'll wanna go ahead and upgrade your plan to the pro plan. Once you're on the pro plan, you will see deep research appears right here. So if you want to use deep research, all you have to do is click deep research and then go ahead and put something in. So for example, I'll say, uh, give me a list of the biggest developments in robotics in 2024. Just a quick fix there. And I can go ahead and run that. Now, this is a very basic one. I'm gonna teach you how to create a more complex prompt that gets you better results. But to get started, this is basically how it works. Now, once you've entered your prompt, it will ask some follow-up questions. So for this one, it's asking, are you looking for developments in a specific area of robotics, such as AI-powered robotics, industrial automation, medical robots, or humanoid robots? Or would you like a broad overview of all major advancements in robotics in 2024? So let's just say I'm looking for humanoid robots. I'll just go ahead and put that in. And again, press enter, and it'll go ahead and do that for me. Now, a quick thing to remember with this is other chat GPT prompts maybe take a few seconds. This one actually takes anywhere between five to 15 minutes. And in some cases I've heard that it even takes up to an hour. That's because it actually does a lot of research and looks for a lot of resources and binds them together into one detailed report. Okay, so once deep research gets to work, you can see the activity here. So as you can see here, it's looking through sources then it's looking through specific sources and bringing that together. And if you wanna take a look at the sources, you can look at that here. And once it's done, it'll produce a report right here for you to read at the bottom. So I've skipped forward now, and this is the report that ChatGPT gave me. So if I scroll down, it tells me everything that's happened in humanoid robotics in 2024, specific topics, goes into great detail with a lot of different sources that I can go click on and find even more detail, enhancements in dexterity and manipulation, real world applications and deployments, and just, you know, an overall summary at the end for you to understand what's going on. Again, you can see the source here, so you can go ahead and click on a source and it opens that up for you. You can look at it sort of, you know, thought process and the steps that it took before it gave you the output. And finally, you can go ahead and look at all the resources in one place as well and click through them to learn more. Now, as you can see, this was extremely basic. I just gave it one line and it did some research based on that. Now in this example, even though the output is quite detailed, it's still quite small compared to some of the other outputs that I've gotten. And the reason for that is I've just given it one prompt that's kind of short and doesn't go into more detail. If I'd asked it for more detail or if I'd given it more instructions, it would have given me a way better output. Okay, so now that you know how to activate deep research, the next part is writing effective prompts because the quality of your prompts will impact the quality of the output that deep research gives you. There are three specific things that you need to do to write a good prompt for deep research. The first thing you'll wanna do is give deep research clear and specific instructions. And don't be afraid to go into detail. In fact, I've seen some people write 15 to 20 line prompts for deep research because they wanted to know exactly what they're looking for. Now there's two reasons why it's really important to be clear and specific with ChatGPT when you're using deep research. First, because you only get 100 credits for deep research with the pro plan. So if you're not giving it correct prompts, you'll have to use your credits over and over again, and you might run out before you get the kind of response that you're looking for. The other reason is that deep research does take a lot of time. So like I said, it takes anywhere between 10 to 30 minutes for most prompts. So if you're not clear and specific with your instruction, you could be sitting there for 30 minutes waiting for an output that you just don't care about. So for example, let's just say you want to learn how to use AI at work. If you just tell ChatGPT in deep research mode to give you use cases for how to use AI, that's going to be too broad and might not apply to your work. So for example, if you're a lawyer or if you're an accountant, be specific that you are a lawyer or an accountant and that you want specific use cases for those tasks. And even within those categories, be as detailed as possible. So for example, if you're a certain kind of lawyer, specify that and also specify the kind of tasks specifically that you're looking for help with. This specificity lets ChatGPT and Deep Research know exactly where to go look and give you the relevant information. The second most important thing is to be clear about your goals. Goals let ChatGPT know 
exactly what the end outcome should look like. So in the last example, where we instructed ChatGPT to find use cases for how to use AI at work, telling it about your goals lets it know exactly how to format the end output. So let's assume you're a school teacher. If you're a school teacher, the kind of output that you want would look very different from the kind of output that you'd want if you were a professional or if you were a journalist. The third and final most important thing is formatting and detail. So for example, if you'd like things to be in bullet points, if you'd like a chart, or if you'd like a report to be done in a certain way, you've got to let ChatGPT know so you get the kind of output that you're looking for. Next thing, you want to give it as much detail as possible. So try to give it some examples. So for example, if you've got something in your own documents, or if you've got some of your own research that you've done before, let it know what that looks like so it knows how to follow that instruction. And the final tiny detail there is give it keywords. So ChatGPT will usually go to the internet when it's in deep research mode, and that's where it looks for resources. So if you give it specific keywords, it'll go ahead and search based on those keywords. Think about it in the same way that Google works. When you give Google a keyword, it goes ahead and searches for that. ChatGPT does the same thing. So here's an example of a prompt that I've created. It's about learning Google Ads for the first time. And here's what the prompt is. I'm a complete beginner looking to learn the fundamentals of Google Ads in order to run an online campaign for my sports clothing store. I need a deep comprehensive learning plan that covers everything from basics to more advanced topics. Please include detailed step-by-step -step instructions and clear examples. The learning plan should cover and then I give it specific things like account setup, ad formats, budgets, ad creative development, and so on. But I'm only doing this because I have some idea because I've done some research into this. Now, if you haven't done the research, you can definitely skip this part. This right here should do a decent enough job. Now, if I scroll down, I've given it some more instructions at the end as well. In addition to the detailed learning plan, please create a chart listing the top 10 takeaways or things I need to remember when building my first Google Ads campaign. So that right there is about the formatting that I spoke about before. Next thing I say is use keywords such as Google Ads Fundamental, online store advertising, sports clothing marketing, and step-by-step -step learning plan to ensure thorough coverage of the topic. And the final thing, one more time, I've been clear on my goal so it knows exactly what to give me. The goal is to equip me with the knowledge and practical steps required to successfully launch and manage my first Google Ads campaign. And with that, I'll go ahead and click on Deep Research and I'll press go. Now that I've entered the prompt, ChatGPT Deep Research is asking me a list of questions. Now this is good because again, this lets it know exactly what to create for you. So I've popped in my responses. So the first thing that it's asked me is do I have any prior experience? I've told it that I don't. Next, it's asked me about my target audience. I say that it's young professionals. Next, it's asked me about my budget. I say 500 per week. Next, it's asked me when I want to launch. I said next week. And then finally, it's asking me for competitor insights. I don't have any, but if I did, I would pop them in here. Now I'm just going to go ahead and click enter again. Okay, so there we go. ChatGPT understands the assignment and it's going to go ahead and just research this. Now again, remember, this takes anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes. So while this is loading, you can go ahead and do something else and then check back every 10 minutes or so. There we have it. The prompt's done. Deep Research took about six minutes to do this and used 20 sources and it has a detailed guide for me here. So if I just scroll down here, it tells me exactly what I'm gonna learn in these bullet points, which is great. Day one to two, account setup and planning, and gives me the exact things that I need to do here. Next up on day three, campaign creation, which is structure, keywords, and targeting. Shows me how to do those things as well, along with resources. Day four, how to do ad uh, creative development, writing ads and designing creatives. And if I keep going down, you get the idea, kind of, you know, or over a one week plan shows me exactly how to do this. And at the end, remember, I asked for a chart or top 10 takeaways from Google Ads Success. So sort of like a cheat sheet that I can use uh, while I'm doing all this. And it has all those 10 takeaways right here at the end. So it's a comprehensive guide that I can use to do all these things. I can look at all of it through, you know, kind of thinking process as, as it was doing this. You can also click on individual resources. And then the other great thing here is it doesn't stop there. You can go ahead and you can ask follow-up questions. So if you're not sure about a certain part or if you want to dive deeper. So for example, uh, you'll say, I want to learn about smart bidding, explain that to me in detail. And then I can just go ahead and press enter and I can use web search, I can use deep research again, but depending on the, on how deep you wanna go, you can do that. So for this one, maybe I don't wanna go as deep, I just want some basic resources to look over, I could even go do search. And I can just go ahead and press enter. And there we have it, it has our output. It's gone ahead and used its web search function to find things in great detail. Now, one final thing, and this is really important, is be careful with which model you use. 
So from what I've seen from other folks, uh, O3 Mini High and O3 Mini tend to be the best for deep research. So if you're gonna use the deep research functionality, I highly recommend using one of the reasoning models instead of the standard uh, ChatGPT4 model. Okay, so I've showed you this example of Google Ads using deep research, but how do I know it actually works? Well, I actually saw this on Twitter first from McKay Wrigley who used this exact playbook and he's generating hundreds of dollars every day and he had no experience with using Google Ads before. And he's not the only one. Tons of people on Twitter Instagram and other social media platforms are sharing success stories of how they've used deep research to do very interesting and useful things. The two broad categories that I'm seeing people use deep research is learning a new topic or learning a new skill. So if you're looking for a place to get started, I highly recommend number one, if you want to learn a new topic. So for example, I showed you the example of robotics go ahead and put that in. Second one, if you're looking to learn something new for work or just pick up a new skill, could be work-related, could be something in your personal life, you can go ahead and pop that into ChatGPT Deep Research as well and get a detailed guide on how to do that. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.